Hey everyone, welcome back. Hope you're having a good Wednesday. We get ourselves set, situated here. You see a box of 2021 Bowman Platinum here. Picked this up recently. I believe that was at Meyer. I really can't remember right offhand. Been really busy the last few weeks, but we will take this overwrap off so we can get a better look at this box. I've not opened any of this product except maybe one or two packs out of the Grand Slam boxes, and I do have a Grand Slam baseball box on the way. It just got an email that it was being shipped out, so I'm looking forward to getting that. But there you see uh, Heston, I'm not even going to attempt that last name, and Alex Bohm, or Baum. Very bad with a lot of the newer baseball names, but every once in a while when I see a pack or a box or whatever, so some of the newer stuff, let's zoom in and get you guys those odds. A lot of the newer names I'm really, really bad with, so I do apologize. I don't watch much baseball now. I did watch a bit more back in the late 80s, early 90s, when I first got into collecting sports cards. So, there are our packs. Nothing in there. Uh, I don't even think I've seen this. Yeah, there's a security tag, and I'm going to set this box off to the side so we can... Get our wrapper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's seven packs plus one bonus pack. I believe that's what it said on the box. Seven packs plus one extra pack. Four cards per pack. So that's what, 32 cards? I guess that's my math. So let's go ahead and get ripping into 2021 Bowman Platinum Major League Baseball. Of course, there's the odds. All the information on the pack was also on the box, so we're not going to bore you with those details any further. So we're just going to get ripping here, and you know, we'll see what we can end up with. You never know. Don't think any relics are going to come out of this, but we may end up with a nice autograph or some nice numbered cards. Clark Schmidt starts us off. These are really, really nice. Let's take a look at the backs of these. I do like the fact that it does give you some, uh, what do you call it, the vitals there. A little bit about the player themselves. Austin Martin is next. Spencer Torkelson, that's a nice looking card. I know that's some type of refractor, but I'm not familiar with all the different levels of that, but that is a super sharp looking card. Set that one off to the side. And then we have Luis Garcia, also a nice looking card. These cards are really, really nice quality. And the names are definitely easier to read than the 2021 I had a lot of difficulty in reading those names. Our next one, Joey Bart. Not going to read every single name here, because you guys know the role. I'm not familiar with a lot of these names, and there's a numbered card. 70, does that say 73? 73 out of 150, Eduardo Garcia. And then we end the pack with Bryce Harper. That's not too bad either. 70, 70, I believe that says 73. That's really hard to say. I'm going to look at it off camera here. Yes, it is 73. I was just getting a bad glare off the lights, which, I, as always, I apologize for. <clears throat> just stuck with the uh, overhead lighting, and it makes for... The lighting's great in here, but the cards do reflect, and I like filming at night because during the daytime, the... the camera just is too dark because it picks up that light from the outside. Then we got Spencer Howard starting us off on this next pack. See some sparkle behind this card, Omar Estevez. Oh, wow. Wow. Joey Votto. That's really nice. Again, I know that this is some layer of a Parallel, I just am unfamiliar with. And we end with Buster Posey. I believe Buster announced his retirement at the end of the season. Uh, let's see here. Those look like ice pattern foil boards. So that Because those are one and four packs, so that's what we'll say those are. But those are really sharp-looking cards. I'm really impressed with the design on these. I really like them. They're, they're simple and they're not loud. <clears throat> I think sometimes card companies go a little crazy on designs. Ronald Acuna Jr. Nice looking card there. Eduardo Garcia, we just seen him in that numbered card. Ooh, wow, Nate 
Nate Pearson, renowned rookie. So this is going to be an insert. BR9. Put this over there to be, to be sleeved. And Glaber Torres, the Yankees. So again, this box has not been that bad. Got a few more packs to go. Kind of halfway there. Andrew Vaughn starts off this pack. Looks like we're going to get another one of those parallels. Ishmael Mina, Mina. Eric Riviera. Rivera. Again, a lot of these names I'm not familiar with, so I apologize for butchering of the names. And Xander Bogarts. It's a nice looking card. Of course, you've seen the back of that card when I took it out of the pack, so no surprise there. Kind of feel like if we were going to get a hit, we would have got it by now, but we got three more packs to go. That's why we keep ripping. Jake Cronworth. Cronworth. Rookie. Loaded with rookie cards. Like that. Never know when one of these guys in four or five years that's not so hot right now just goes through the roof. Jordan Walker. We have... Is that metric? Meteoric. Okay, meteoric. Marco Luciano. It's a nice looking card. It's a bit off center. At least that graphic is. That box is off center left to right. I guess it's slightly off center on the front too. And a rookie of Dylan Carlson. Of the St. Louis Cardinals. Two more packs to go and we will call it a night guys. Start off with Jan Mankata, Nick Frasso, Andres Jimenez. Again, it's one of these uh, parallels. Now, again, I think we might have nailed what what what, it, what one it was, but I'm not for sure. And George Springer. And every one of these cards, just the base, looks like what would have been a refractor 15 years ago. And this is our final pack, final opportunity. Francisco Lindor, not a bad looking card there. Nick Gonzalez, and if the next card's going to be anything, that's where it's going to be at. Nope, but we got uh, Luciano. Is that the same guy we just got? Yes, it is Marco Luciano. What do we say this one was? Uh, I don't know. P.E., whatever P.E. is. Let's look on this box, and of course I really can't read this, but we've got two of these inserts of Marco Luciano. That's kind of funny that we got uh, two inserts of the same guy in the same box. They're still nice-looking cards. Probably... Uh, Let's look at the other two inserts. We've got a numbered card of Edward Eduardo Garcia and this uh, renowned rookies of Nate Pearson. Then all these parallels. But by far my favorite's at Joey Votto. That's just, I mean, these are all sharp, but to me, out of these four, that's the biggest name to me. Some of the other guys might, you know, disagree or agree or whatever, but overall, a really nice box. No hits, but I don't expect hits when it doesn't tell me that there's no guaranteed hits. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, you know, let me know what cards you enjoy. I uh, do have more baseball stuff to open up. Not a whole lot of new stuff, really not much new stuff at all to be truthful. Uh, but I've just got more Junk Wax era boxes from way back. And I still have a Walgreens Fairfield repack box here that we have not torn into yet. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks, as always, for watching. Enjoy the rest of your Wednesday, and we will see you tomorrow.